The Seattle Seahawks return home for a big divisional matchup at CenturyLink Field, looking to bounce back from a disappointing loss last weekend. The team is looking forward to getting back on the field as quickly as possible, and they'll get their wish when they take on the Los Angeles Rams on the national stage of Thursday Night Football. This is a big opportunity for us. We're really excited about it. We realize that there's a lot at stake with every one of these games as it has always been. But now you know you have a chance uh, you know, to make some noise in your division. So we're going to see if we can uh, play some really good football and, and do the kinds of things like, like, like we'd like to. Seattle has a big test ahead to get the offense back on track against one of the top defensive fronts in the NFL that was able to hold the Seahawks to just three points the last time they faced off in week two. A defense that's, uh, that's pretty stacked. You know, the one that always gives us trouble. So, um, you know, we got we to gotta be on it this week. We're, uh, we're ready and up, up for the challenge. You know, they, got, they have a great front. Um, you know, Robert Quinn, Donald, you know, probably a couple of the best guys that play the game today. And uh, so we'll have to have to be ready for that. They got a, a great defensive line. Their front seven is unbelievable. They got guys that rotate in and out. Um, and so you yeah, had tons of respect for what they what they've been able to do and what they were doing. And and uh, like I said, they got great players. So it starts it starts there. Since the last time they played, the Rams have put a new quarterback at the helm in rookie Jared Goff, who was the number one overall pick in the 2016 NFL Draft. But despite the new face, not much has changed. No, they're pretty much doing the same things um, that they've been doing. Um, They've asked him to, you know, spread the ball around. He's doing all the stuff, the quick game play action stuff. He's been in empties. He's done all of the kinds of stuff that, that they have been doing over the last few years. It's pretty similar. They're still running the same stuff with the Rook. Um, so it doesn't change what we do or and it hasn't changed what they do. The Rams offense has been struggling this season, only averaging 14.9 points per game and 286.2 yards per game, both of which rank last in the NFL. But they still have weapons to turn to in Todd Gurley, Tavon Austin and Kenny Britt, who could try to get the ball moving. We're preparing for a, a battle, no doubt about it. Uh, they're going to they're gonna hand the ball off. They got number 30 in the backfield. That guy can run the ball. Uh, get number 11's a guy that they love in the, in the short intermediate zones. I mean, they, they love him on his fly sweeps and reverses and things like that. And they try to throw the ball deep to number 18 as much as possible. So it's stuff that we certainly need to be prepared for. Kenny Britt is definitely their vertical threat. He really stretches the field. They try to feature him that way. And uh, with Todd Gurley, he has all the runs in, in the books. He has the cuts, the stretch plays. They throw it to him a lot. And so those are mainly two feature guys. So we got to make sure we keep those guys in check. Not only will the Seahawks face a new quarterback, but they'll also face a new head coach with the Rams on Monday. L.A. announced that special teams coach John Fossil would be named interim head coach after the team fired Jeff Fisher. Keep in mind that L.A. special teams unit has had a lot of success against Seattle with trick plays. I can't even imagine uh, what that does, you know, for those guys you know, in terms of turning turn the corner and getting, moving ahead forward. But I'm sure that they'll do it, and, and uh, John will do a good job of directing that. He's, he's a terrific coach, and, and uh, but it's you know that's a big transition. The Seahawks are looking forward to getting back in front of the 12s and in the friendly confines of CenturyLink Field. Seattle is the only team in the NFL to have a perfect home record as they look for win number seven. I've played here quite a bit, um, coming to play this team, and I can tell you what, it's really hard. It, it confuses the other all. Offense, you know, having having that loud of noise, and um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a really fun place to play, but only when you're on the home side. I love our fans, man. Thank you guys for all you do. I can't wait to get out there, make some tackles, get some sacks, and uh, shoot the spiderweb all over the place. With the winner a tie on Thursday, the Seahawks will clinch the NFC West and their fifth consecutive playoff berth. Kickoff is set for 5.30 p.m. You can watch it on NBC or listen to it on the Seahawks radio network, or for this game, you can stream it on Twitter.